A positive attitude towards one's clinical condition is, regardless of its seriousness, the best way to embrace life. Conversely, giving up life, stopping dreaming and planning the future, means taking a blind alley towards oblivion. Even if this may seem the easiest way, perhaps even induced by those around us, it is exactly the opposite of praising life. These few sentences are the heart of the thought, of the patient advocacy activity, and also of a book recently written by Nicola. We met him on the banks of the Rhine River in the center of Cologne, Germany. With a diagnosis of beta thalassemia, a blood disorder that causes a long series of physiological effects, his choice has always been clear. Everybody said then to me, um, forget it, Nico. Forget career, forget family. You will never have a normal life. Forget it. You're gonna die too early. And with everybody, I mean literally everybody. Doctors, um, teachers, priests. I'm Italian, of course, priests. Yeah. Uh, friends, family. Everybody. My, my parents didn't say that, but they know. They knew. Okay. That's shit. Because <laughs> um, with 15, 16, I started when I was asked, can you please uh, slow down and stop with this uh, dream, normal life? And I said, no, no, I want to have a normal life. I've seen that many um, friends of mine they passed away, they died with thalassemia because of this, because they signed it. So the, 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 the rent, they took it. And then it started to, to that they um, become more and more vulnerable, getting rid of this dream, normal life, that's not good. A friend of mine, he um, came from Sicily, lived here with me in Cologne. So that one day um, he went to um, his doctor, who was also my doctor, in the hospital. And so like, so it was a regular um, appointment, like always, yeah. And the doctor looked at his um, analysis and said, um, you're great, you're doing great. So, you're fine. And he answered, you think so? So then tell me why I don't want to live anymore. The doctor couldn't answer this. Of course not. Because we are talking about everything. Not about just only the values or the blood disorder or whatever. So, in the end, he gave up and he passed away with 27. So that's just one example why I'm doing that. I don't want to give him, you know, the light, you know, the show, that's me. It's not the genetic malfunction. And it's it has a prison in my body. So it needs to come with me, not the other way around. And this is what we want to tell to the others, people, everywhere. And with um, fantastic teammates, we, we make exactly this. Yeah, so, so looking at the future, to me, um, first of all, there is one thing, that's hope, always. Because, yes, we need to um, leave something behind. Something, sometimes to say goodbye forever to anybody. Yeah, or to, um, to a job, to a hobby, whatever. Yeah. Because um, life is moving on. And I know my disease is also moving on, okay, I know. But when 
I manage to be faster than my disease, then I will reach the future earlier. And the future to me is undefined. It's not depicted yet. And that's why um, I love it so much, because this means I can take it in my hand and make whatever I want. Especially for those that deal with a rare disease, determination may not be enough to overcome the difficulties. But everyone, absolutely everyone, has the right to continue to look ahead and dream. And no one can, or has the right to, take it away from anyone.